Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to introduce you to a classic, the Sony A7S. This mirrorless camera brought low light videography to the masses with its 12 megapixel sensor. The low megapixel count meant that the sensor was very good in low light conditions. I recently sent mine away to infraredcameraconversions.co.uk for a full spectrum conversion. The service was great and within a week I had my camera back in my warm little mitts to try out. As you can see with the IR conversion mod, everything you photograph comes out with a pinkish tint. But for daytime and non-astro use, I recommend getting an STC UV IR clipping filter to return your camera to a pre-modified state. The full spectrum mod really comes into its own when using the Sony at night. A simple white balance adjustment can bring the images back to closer to what the eye sees. The removal of the UV IR filter increases the camera's sensitivity. The 8.4 micron pixels capture more photons and produce much less noise than many other higher megapixel cameras. I thoroughly recommend Ian Norman's review on the Lonely Spec YouTube channel. His review of the A7S gives you more information on how to use it for astrophotography and the benefits of the Sony A7S. I took a trip recently to meet some friends at a fairly dark sky location to photograph the Milky Way over a local lighthouse. And these are the images I got after processing. In general terms, I have to admit, I'm really happy with my Sony a7S and the camera conversion that Alan did was a fantastic job. In fact, he was good enough also to repair the broken EVF at the same time. And definitely check out their website. It's in the description below.
I hope to be capturing more Milky Way images with this camera very soon. I hope you'll join me and I hope you enjoy the images. Take care, stay safe. Bye for now.